So we've just been filming on a plot of land in Stoke-on-Trent here and I just thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about plots of land as something you might want to consider buying. Um, this is it, actually quite interesting as you can see it's surrounded by houses on uh, all those sides and then over here there's a park which is quite pretty so that's quite good but this went to the auction and the guide price was seven and a half thousand quid okay and um it has no planning permission at all no planning permission at all so if we are going to the auction thinking about buying this what are we looking at well it is a bit of a gamble until you know you can get planning on this there's absolutely no guarantee that you will you can speak to the council and say in principle but they'll be really nervous about giving you any kind of definite answer as to whether or not you would get planning on this they would say you have to put in a either an application a full application or something called a pre-application which is uh, where they can give you an indication of whether or not uh, a full application would be approved although they're probably going to ask for all sorts of drawings and documents and all sorts of things even to give you a pre-app kind of idea so really you just need to use your I guess your your nous, your knowledge, your thought processes to realise whether or not this does have any hope whatsoever of becoming something that you could build on. Well, so what are we looking at then? Well, we are surrounded by other houses, so that's good news. Uh, we have got roads nearby, uh, so easy access, which is good. You've got electricity, gas, water, that's good. You're in a residential area, that's good. You're within the development boundary um, of the area, which is good. Uh, so all positives, um, negatives, well, I don't know if there are that many. I mean, the locals could object, but then again, this I think is very much a, a bit of land that could easily become just used for dumping, in fact, uh, as it has. So I think the locals might be quite keen for you to actually turn this to something which isn't going to attract dumping and all that kind of stuff that goes with it. Rats, da 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 um, the guide price is seven and a half thousand. If this had got planning permission on it, it'd be worth ten times that. So that's why you're getting it for those kind of prices. There's no guarantee you're going to get it because other people, presumably at the auction, are going for it as well. So in a huge, great rambling kind of way, I'm saying, do your research on the area, what you could build here, what you could get in terms of the value of what you might build here. Say terraced houses would be a logical thing to build. You're not going to be building some great big palatial type house, something which fits in with the locality, something which is going to be relatively inexpensive to build and, 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 and provide good housing for people at an affordable price. That's probably what you're going to want to build here. So what are we thinking? Maybe we think you could get on this plot four or five terraced houses, perhaps um, they're going to cost you what, 60 or 70? Seventy thousand pounds each, four, five, six, seven. Uh, say five at seven, that's thirty-five grand, uh, three or fifty grand rather. They're probably going to sell at about. Again, you're going to have to talk to locals. Hundred grand. So uh, there's probably a hundred, hundred and fifty thousand quid in this if you were to get it right. But it is a gamble. Okay, it's a gamble, and it's a risk. Um, but it could be worth taking. So that is what you look for when you look at plots of land at the auction and in general.